Hey, hi everyone. What will you learn in this session? So in this session, we are going to cover how to loop through a string in Python. Then we will see how to find length of a string. And at the end, we will cover how to check if a certain phrase or character is present in a string. So we are going to cover these three things in our today's session. Let's move to Visual Studio Code. So I have on my screen VS Code and let's see. All right, so let's say we have a string x is equal to, let me give anything like my string value, let's say, okay. My string value is the value of a string code. Well, let me make it simple, right? Let's say we have this, this is keyboard just to make it simple otherwise value value will get confused this is keyboard all right and in python it's pretty simple how we can print any variable so just use print function inside square sorry inside these brackets put x any variable so the name of the variable in this case is x and if you run so this this is keyboard will get printed as you can see in the terminal log all right now how we can iterate through right how we can loop through this entire string character by character so we want to loop through okay so we can use looping looping in a string we can use and how we can do that using simple for loop using for loop and this is very interesting right this is one string right this is keyboard but i can iterate through these individual characters t h i s then i then s each every character i can iterate through how we can do that using for loop so let's say for um, for let's say i in x for every i in x i will print i two lines of quotes and we are done let me run as you can see Initially, we got the entire string. This is keyboard and then I'm looping through at line number four for I in X print I and this is printing everything T H I S then I S. In fact, the spaces it, 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 spaces are also getting printed. This is interesting and K E Y B O R D. This is keyboard this is getting printed vertically. It, it's looking like a vertical, but in fact, it's printing individual characters from the given string and let me explain one more time like what exactly this is so here essentially I'm using for loop in Python and this is the in statement and at the right hand side of in we write the complete list or the complete stuff which we want to iterate using for loop so X is the name of the variable I mean the stuff which we want to iterate so I have written at the right hand side of in statement and on the left hand side of in we write every element of that stuff so in this case every character of this entire string right so for every element or for every character in x print that element or that character so <laughs> that's how we read it and i'm able to print this this is causing confusion so let me comment this out using hash symbol we can comment anything in python let me delete and rerun so this is clean output now so t h i s is every character i'm getting i'm able to print all right let's move on to the next topic how to find the length of any given string what do we mean by length length means 
the number of characters which is present inside this string so we can use print the length the length is let's say using plus we can concatenate in python we have this len function <clears throat> using len function we can find the number of items in a container so i, I can read through this so if you just you can see i have written len and it's python is giving this intelligence of this visual studio code is giving me the information about len function so this lens function written the number of items in a container so this container could be a string in this case this container could be a list set right tuple anything any data structure of python <coughs> so in in our example it's this container is x i mean the string written the number of items right the number of characters if it's a string so and what we pass inside these square inside this parenthesis brackets the container x which contains the string right let me run this we got error we got type error interesting so whenever we encounter any error so python throws trace back so as you can see in the terminal log trace back we got and it clearly tells trace log sorry trace back file line number seven so line number seven there's some problem in this line number seven type error we got type error can only concatenate str not integer since i have used this concatenation plus operator so what this plus operator is essentially doing is it is concatenating this let me do control z this is concatenating this string because in double quotes we define a string so the length is colon it's a string and i am concatenating a string with int so i cannot add apple plus banana it's not possible in python i can add or concatenate apple plus apple or banana plus banana so the left hand side of plus operator is a string and the right hand side is int or integer so type error a string cannot be concatenated with integer and that's why python is saying trace back type error is a type mismatch so how we can solve this problem so we have to convert the int format into the string so that we can use this concatenation plus operator so it's pretty simple how we can convert using str function so i can use str so that inside str length of x whatever the length is right now we don't know so i can i can count because this is a small string in this case imagine we have a big string and we want the count of every character inside that string so we cannot use we cannot count manually in that case we have to use len function len function return the number of items in a container or the number of characters in a string and str will convert that number into a string so that it can it can be concatenated with another string i hope it makes sense uh, let me clear everything and run it again here you go our program ran successfully and this is the older output like every character from this for loop and if we go down down right here the length is 16 right so this length is 16 1 2 3 4 5 5 is a space 6 7 again space 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 15 16 so we have 16 characters in this is keyboard entire string so using len function we can find the length of this string all right let's see what was the last topic of this session 
so we covered how to loop through a string using a for loop we also saw how to find the length of the length of the string using len function we can find and let's see how to check if a certain phrase or character is present inside a string this is pretty interesting so let's say i want to check whether keyboard is present inside x or not this x contains three words this is keyboard right i want to check whether this x contains keyboard or not how we can do that okay let me uh, what i can do i can i can comment these print statements otherwise it will create confusion when we will run this check condition right so let me run now and see i think we should not get any okay indentation error line number 10 okay inside for loop let me comment this as well all right we are good now so nothing is getting printed so it's it's equivalent to we have empty file so we have this x is equal to this is a keyboard now i want to check i want to check check if keyboard k e y b o a r d keyboard text is present and this is the example like i'm just checking a single word is present or not you can check any condition anything in a given string how we can do that we can do that using in statement so i'm going to use in statement so how we can do that if this keyboard which is a string in where in x right because x is the container which contains this string so i'm saying if keyboard in x then you can print text present or let me type the entire stuff so that in the console we should have meaningful logs so i will say okay so it's not complex at all it's pretty simple in two lines we are done so first line says x is equal to this is keyboard this is a string and at line number 11 i am checking if keyboard the word which you want to search in x x is the variable if it is which means if if condition is true then print keyboard text present let's see whether it runs or not here you go we got the output keyboard text is present and let's say i typed keyboard in place of keyboard i say maybe monitor if monitor is in x and x is this i think no it's not present let me run this and we should uh, so we got no output record because this if condition does not satisfy and there is one more statement right else so because in the console log in the terminal we cannot see any output so i should type some i should write something in the else block also right so let's say else print maybe keyboard text not present with not as capital let me run this time okay we got syntax error syntax error at, at line number 13 else we got syntax error 
all right so as we can see we got syntax error here in the else so i just forgot to put semicolon sorry this colon right with if we put colon at the end if else also we get we should put colon at the end this colon is very important in python so let me clear everything and run so as you can see now the error gone and we got the output keyboard text not present okay so let me summarize i can use this in statement and i can check if something is present in some other thing if it is present if condition satisfied we can put some business logic so i'm just printing in this case else you can perform another business logic another operation if that condition does not satisfy right so that's how we can check anything present inside a given strings and just mind right uh, i'm using the entire word right you can also use any character is present or not right so let's say in this string i think character z is not present and character t is present right so i can type if t is in x this time let me do this and this i can check single character also so i'm checking for t if t is in x let me done yes t is present can i do the for z let's say i'm checking for z z or z some, some people call it z also so i call it z if z is in x manually i cannot see z in this x let me run z text not present which means our this simple logic program is working perfectly fine and using in a statement we can find whether something is present or not so let me see the agenda for today so we started with looping through a string we use for loop how to find length of a string we use len function how to check if a certain phrase or character is present in a string or not for that we used in a statement right with that we covered everything in our agenda today and that's all i wanted to cover in this session thank you thank you so much bye bye